Mm -hmm. Oh. Hell yeah. Welcome to Almost Epic Adventures Never Looted Dungeon, the Alpha Demo Spooky Edition. Quite the mouthful. Although the the real game isn't with the the first way. Let me let me double check the the store page. What was it? The store page. Actually, mm, it's Never Looted Dungeon is the first the first. And then the, the subtitle is Almost Epic Adventures. But anyways, it looks like an interesting, silly, fun, not so much horror game, but a silly game where you could see here, tracks and treats and, I mean, usually be gold. I'd probably prefer shiny gold and stuff, but this is the spooky edition for Halloween, where, let's just do Nico. Let's see if the game explains. Uh, wait, what? For adventurers who are moderately confident, for adventurers who want a real challenge. For adventurers who haven't looted many dungeons. Hmm. Taking damage interrupts your attack. Oh god, you can change it. Uh, adjust the brightness so the object on the left is barely visible. Okay. Skag or there. For my monitor brightness at least. Now, is that, so it's like a dungeon that's just never been looted. I'll have to see if the game actually... No, it doesn't explain. I guess I'll have to explain. It's like... What if there was a dungeon that was never looted? You know, it's like, you always think of, like, fantasy games, which just like, coincidentally, whether it be Adventure Time kind of TV show, or Skyrim, it's just, there's treasure chests everywhere, all the dungeons that should already be looted, haven't been looted, and it's just for you. Uh, in this game, oh, not only is there physics, yes. I love being able to throw things. A sword in good condition. Right click to pick up objects. Ah. Huzzah. We got our tab, a simple little inventory. Instant pockets like Minecraft and a bag of holding trademark. But yeah, it's like a dungeon that's just never been looted. And there's a ton of traps. There's just traps. Traps and traps and traps and more traps. So the chance of us dying is very high, but basically, circles love to spelunk. We, lo we love to spelunk the caves. Uh, mouse wheel to equip an item for instant pockets, or left mouse button to use it. I don't think I can remove the torch. But yes, the, there's deadly traps, and this is the whole basis, of course, is to get to the end of the dungeon, try to survive. It looks interesting, though. So you just have to avoid the obvious. One bone. If we add the bone to our inventory, we have to think like, what if there is a, a spike trap or an arrow trap and you need to set it off to avoid dying? Pressure plates, everything like that. Everything's out to kill you because it's a dungeon. It's meant to test your wits. Oh, I can climb with it, that's nice. Secret entrance, totally. To totally a secret entrance. Very much so. I'm gonna take the pumpkin. Ugh. Move these giant boulders. Oh, well, maybe not that one. I'll just jump over. Shift to no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sprint. I'd rather be cautious, even though this seems to be a tutorial dungeon. Treats that way, but what about this way? The bridge will probably kill me. We'll, we'll, we'll look. But I'm definitely going to go down below. I'm not going to follow the sign. I'm not going to follow that arrow either. Uh, let's let's test it. How do we throw things is my question. Let's see. Can I... Let see what the throwing button is. There should be a throwing. Or a dropping. Uh, let's see. Uh, drop is middle mouse button. Examine is G? Rotate, roll, kick. Okay, kick is F, that's good. Toggle torch, that's nice. Equip or unequip is apostrophe? Huh? Weird, but I'll think it's just optional for now. Drop, though... Eh, fuck it. Alright. 
Can I? Will the bridge break? Maybe not. But I still don't trust it. I'll take another pumpkin. We'll go down here. I'm gonna assume there's a chance that down here is only like, oh hey, if you drop and fall, whoopsie doopsie, you can climb back up and try again. But I'll explore down here because I am an adventurer. I am a expert at spelunking moist caves. Oh no, it's a ghost. I will... I'll take the ghost and the candy. I, I don't know what the ghost does. Ooh. It's like when I right click it, the hand specifically goes where it needs to go, aka at the handle. That's cool. The chest opening animation is, uh, I mean, not the animation itself is basic, but the the mechanic of opening chests is very, what's the word? Not soothing. Opening the chest and being able to close it, like physics opening, closing chest, or opening, closing drawers, probably. Feels good? Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess I'll just go with feels good so I don't go on this forever. But we'll continue. We got a ghost. I don't know what that means. It's spooky edition, so like all the gold or shinies is converted to candy. I don't know what candy, d how it translates to gold though, so I mean, mm, yeah. No. God damn it. I wasn't expecting that I'd actually fall. A luminescent mushroom. Not sure what they're for, but I guess I'll take a few. Maybe we'll do some alchemy later and be able to make something out of it. Hmm, I'm gonna assume maybe it's a, a glow stick sort of thing. Alright, this time. Yeah. There we go. But still, we have to be very careful. I'm not sure if, like, pressure plates would be blatantly visible. When you die, the next adventure starts in the last bedroll you visited. Bedroll and is in a coffin. A sword in good condition. Is there a stat difference? Sword. Sword. I'll just put it away, I guess. The, I'll put this away just in case. Like, maybe the torch will go out or fire is impossible, but the glow caps will remain possible. Uh, you never know. And a uh, ghost. I don't know what the fuck the ghost's for, but you know. Uh. Ooh. Schmarkus. What's the schmarkus? It's almost broken. Maybe it's important. It's got a trademark name. Maybe we can repair it. It'll be a really cool blade. Who knows? But, uh. Oh. Mug. Hmm. Anyways. Hmm. Another sword. A disclaimer. Anything in the barrels? The sword's probably break. Eh, still good condition. Disclaimer. By entering the dungeon to loot its treasure, you acknowledge that you are aware of the presence of various deadly traps in said dungeon. The dungeon... Owners are in no way liable for any permanent uh, curse, dismemberment, irreversible brain damage, or slow and painful death you may suffer. Hmm. Alright. I guess I'm ready. There's no lever hidden under these. No. Okay. We shall spelunk the dungeon. Spelunk just sounds strangely sensual, I don't know why, which is why I'm saying it a lot. The outer gate. A chunky rat. You mine. Ah, how dare you? Yes, there's also a corpse I can throw around. Excellent. Can I loot you? Right click to loot the corpse tab in order to, to bread. I'm gonna assume that will heal me. I will take your skull. Mm. 
Mmm. No loot. Very sad. Where did the skull go? Yoink. Just in case I need a skull for something. You never know. Mmm. But yeah. Uh, we can obviously go in the grating. Uh, well, it's the only thing we can do. Can we take the grating? No, okay, good. Some things can be grabbed, but cannot be picked up. But unlike that, Anna. Yeah. Wait, potion. Give me the candy. No. No. See, again, with the mechanic, the I, I like the, how this interface works, where it's like, as soon as you right-click, the mouse you see now isn't the same when you right-click. It'll go more appropriately to, like, the best location needed for opening and closing the door, and something that's visible, so your eyes can actually see what it's about to do. There's a lot more information. I, I like that. Yep. All right, now I'm back from my door buzzing because I'm constantly getting packages. We should be able to, if anything... If this is blocking... Oh, oh wait, wait. I'll take that. I could have taken maybe that other stuff. Ugh. Like, if the crate's in the way, all I have to do is like that. Oh, see, like, it's so close. I could... I could... I definitely... Candy, candy. Hey, we got a lot of candy. Oh, yeah, I eat. Uh, uh, four. <laughs> and I recovered some health, but not a lot. Okay. We could go this way. Ooh. Like new. Well, that's better than my good condition swords. Drop. And badop badonk. Mmm. Like new. Oh my. Oh, oh, here's the gate that we killed the rat then. Any way to open it from here? Hmm. I don't know if I want to go this way. Also, candy. 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 Skull candlestick chair. Can't destroy tapestry. Maybe we should do that, though. This is tapestry. Developers maybe should make it so you can cut tapestry because there could be hidden things behind tapestry. But then you'd have to have some form of physics, at the very least, capable of such a thing. But, I mean, it's a smart thing to hide things behind tapestry, obviously. No one thinks, oh, tapestry. I'm going to cut it down and look to see what's behind it. Sort of like when you play a horror game and there's, you know, a button or a secret vault behind a painting that you have to put a take off the wall sort of thing. I know there'd be definitely situations where there's going to be hiding places hide hidden behind barrels or other things like that, but... Nah, no, we're just going to go the natural way, though. Up this ladder. We'll see if it all leads to the same spot, or if the gate is safer. I have no idea. Bumpkin. Mmm... Not sure if there's anything if I were to try to climb. I wouldn't be surprised if there was stuff like I could get to only by jumping from here. Not sure though, I can't see. The pumpkin was a good opportunity, but you know, whatever. Hmm. Aha! Excellent. What is up here? <laughs> Crash the pine, the fucking pumpkin. Uh, definitely something over here. Treasure? <gasps> Ghost? The fuck does it mean? Maybe the only way to activate the treasure at the end is by placing a bunch of uh, ghost sacrifices, I don't know. Let's see, how easy is it to go down ladders now? That's eh, okay. Raise the goddamn gates. Excellent. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're back here. Okay. Alright. Ugh. Do 
go here. Breathing. Hmm. Take candles. Double the light. It'd be sad if anyone died to that log, honestly. Oh. It can move side to side. I've got, got to be careful. This idiot died. <sighs> Candle. I highly doubt I'll need it. I'm sure I will start dropping a bunch of things. Because I'm... Mm, ghost, take up. Ah, ghost! Oh no, oh no. Oh, the, okay, it's on the ground. Whew. I was about to say, okay, clicking a uh, developer to fix that, I guess. Clicking in between the grids, like perfectly in between drop set. It's kind of weird, but maybe, maybe fix that. That'd be great. Otherwise, I, I don't need their mug. I'm gonna continue spelunking. Little leg spike every single time. Like new sword. I'm good. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Candy. I'm too fucking tired. What is making that noise? What? It just conveniently shot <laughs> to the left and right of my body. I stood perfectly in the middle. So I should have, like, if anything, grabbed the skull and done this. Like, throw it like that. I could have died there. Depending on how much damage I can take. But I didn't take any damage by my sheer skinniness. That's amazing. I'm gonna... Ah, oh, broke my hand. Wait, what? There's a chance the arrows break upon trying to pick them up. But otherwise, they become generic arrows. Well, that's cool. But yeah. As soon as... I, I, I gotta look ahead for those holes, unless the holes are invisible. But at least the, uh... What the fuck is making that noise? You gotta be now careful. The traps are clearly starting to come out. Ugh. Is it like a rat making that noise? No. Oh. What if I put like a box on top? Will it like jam the spike mechanism? Oh, it does! I need maybe two boxes then. I'm, I'm at least glad that the mechanics work like that. Yep. Yeah. We need to do a mighty jump. But I still, I want to know what's the other way. They made it, at least the trap mechanism works mildly realistically. Like, it's jamming. The spikes only can push up a certain amount of weight, so to speak. Really depends on what kind of engine or motor is running it, really. But I'm gonna assume maybe if we drop, this is the way to get back. Also, blatantly obvious candy. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Just you know, stones in the way that I can move and make it so this door being blocked is utterly fucking pointless. Ah, but it's a good thing we did this, because if we would have fallen down normally, we'd probably die. But, I, I do- I don't want a spoon. Thankfully, because of that, we're able to get the other ghost. I don't know what the hell the ghosts are for, but... Obviously, I'm wanting to collect as many as possible, because they're probably important. Okay. I will spelunk this entire demo. And see what we get. I have to avoid dying though. Mm -mm, don't think so. Hmm. Uh, 
throw the I uh -huh. Oh, it's the only way to I mean I'm good at doing this shit, man. Wait, or just middle mouse to throw item oh. Oh. I thought I'd have to like do like throwing style, but instead there's actually a huck as there is a kick. treasure. I don't want candy, though. I legit w would prefer gold. Bad condition. Mace. I don't think... Oh, I don't think there'll be a time when you can actually repair things, so I'll just leave that alone. Hmm. Any other junk I can drop? Get the schmorkers. I'm definitely gonna keep the schmorkers. Just because it's got a unique name. Pay attention to details. The dungeon is full of secrets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. Oh, ooh, I like that. Yes. Nice little bed. The dungeon itself. No treasure ahead. Nothing to see here. No need to continue. You can leave. Trespassers will be burned, dismembered, permanently cursed, and probably die a horrible death. Good to know. Also, how do I get rid of the torch again? Was it Anne? Shit. Controls. Torch was T. Mm. There's chunky rats down there. Hmm, that would have been almost accurate. Let's see. Wait, let me try to hit the rats. Hell yeah, I hit the rat! We gotta try to kill it. Mm, fuck. Gotta make sure things like that don't happen. I don't know how much damage dropping a pumpkin on their head's gonna do, but that was funny. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm getting good. Let's try to do that again. Three times a charm. <laughs> That's what the rat gets, man. I was able to test the pumpkins repeatedly until I got used to the accuracy of throwing. I better not die, like, right here, swear to god. I'm being very... cautious... of the tiles. A life potion. I equip a gold coin and then a left mouse button to use it on the dispenser. I mean, I do have a lot of candy, I'm gonna presume it... Ow! I'm too tired. Ugh. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'll explore this area a little bit and see what's here besides this new bed. Oh, free candy. The Wise Adventure, Volume One. When exploring a dungeon full of deadly traps, avoid running around without looking where you are. Stepping with, look, without looking where you are stepping. To survive, you better be careful. I've never rushed into a dungeon, which is why I'm still alive after so many years. Leroy the Wise. Maybe I can collect the booklet series. We'll see. But it is definitely wise advice, of course. I'm gonna see how the candy works. As much as we already have a life potion, but... Oh, wait, can we, like, w I'm not sure if I can extract a single candy out of the candy jug. I'd rather it be a pot of gold, to be honest, but, well, I'll look in the controls, I guess. I'm gonna assume if we use the pot, it would use just one? Just one? Did it use ten? No! 
the fuck? I didn't want to use that much. God damn it. If I knew it was ten, I would not have fucking done that. <sighs> Alright, well... Uh, we'll eat some bread. Alright, we're good now. Dead rat. I'm wondering if this is a place to traverse. It could be. But maybe we'd need to find a rope so we can climb back up if anything goes wrong. Ooh. Perforatix Premium. Trademark crossbow. Bad condition. That's better than nothing. I'll put that sword in here. Eh, it works. The problem is we really probably should not use it in less emergencies. Great. A key. Oh. Oh, I like finding random keys. Oh. Oh. But yeah. Finding random keys that aren't shiny and you may miss is a good thing. Cheese. I don't want to hear any jokes in the comment section about cheese. The door's locked. This isn't the armory, I don't think. We'll try it anyways. It's not the right key. As expected. It looks like a ghost over there. Is this the armory? It looks like a graveyard. It just can't even interact with the door. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hopefully, I don't break the game by doing this. Hopefully not. No, oh, I mean that was easy. I'm sure like the game developers made it so like you have free reign to do whatever you want. I'm gonna presume just based on this. You were meant to go in the well and then make your way over here and then climb up and open it. Probably. But instead, I don't want to do that then yet. I want to explore the rest of this area. Like in here. Hmm, up. I don't think so. Good thing they don't shoot multiple times. It'd suck if they would reload. Gimme. Damn. What floor? I can knock down the shelving unit, that's good. Schmarcus. Ooh, good condition Schmarcus. Okay, so Schmarcus isn't special. It's just, I guess, the name for their kitchen knife. Also, it's cool that we can actually pick up items with the inventory open like that. A broom in good condition. How the hell am I going to use the broom? I am curious. It's a very wet one. Okay. Can we douse fires? We can't. Uh, I'll... That's bad condition already. Okay, well. Slice of cheese. Awakening of the dead coffee. Wait. The slice all knife. The problem is I don't know... Which thing does more damage? Schmorkus? The sword? The slice all? Well, 
What does more damage? I need damage stats, man. I need I need more information on all this stuff. Like awaiting of the dead coffee. It's a nice mug. It's got a little wyvern, I think. I guess I could call it a wyvern. Uh, we have uh, too much shit. Uh, I'll drink it out of curiosity. Me mm -hmm. run faster. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Of course, you gotta do that just to find treasure. Pooper. Oh, secret pooper. Potion Meg, are you injured? Do you have a torn limb? Is internal bleeding slowly causing you to pass out? Not to worry, with a life potion, your wounds will soon be a bad memory. Go to page 124 for a review of the new recipe with slightly less sugar and an incredible strawberry flavor. I mean, it's it's just a single page though. So I mean, so we can go on the portal, but there's so many places to go. It's just like thief, man. You gotta be careful. You gotta steal things. You gotta not die. There's so many places for me to go. I don't feel like a you. No, get away from me! Oh god, this goes. Oh god, this goes. Should be safe on the box. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh, disgusting. Come on. My stamina runs out too fast after swinging like three times. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Thank god they don't poison. Gross. Yeah. You in the room? I'm not going into. I won't even want to pick it up. But ugh, ugh, it's just ugh, it doesn't even fit. Get in there. Ugh. Gross. Oh, Jesus Christ. Brand new. Ooh, a spear. Mm. Okay, we can drop the skull. That doesn't even look like cheese, to be honest. Um. God damn it. Let me organize. All right, let's read the book some. Simply, the art of fighting and introduction. Simply wielding a sword isn't enough to be a good fighter. In, th in this series, we teach you the art of fighting to help you survive your first few fights. Okay. A good fighter knows how to manage their fatigue. If you run around and slash in every direction, you'll quickly run out of breath and be in no condition to fight. To survive, you'll perform a charge attack or several quick attacks, but always save a little energy so you can dodge or strike again if you need to. I see. That's, I guess, a good thing to know. A good fighter knows how to dance with your opponent. You have to know how to move, rotate, and dodge. Always staying out of the reach of your opponent while keeping them in range. I mean, it depends on this whole... dodging. I don't think there's a dodge button. I'll double check out of curiosity. Mmm... There's movement, there's jump. Unless, like, backwards and jump equals, like, a dodge jump, but I don't think so. Is a kick? No. It just means saving the stamina so you can sprint backwards then. A good fighter knows how to anticipate their opponent's attacks. Instead of running all over the place, watch the attackers carefully and learn uh, to read their movements when they start to attack first, dodge, then strike. I guess I could do that instead of button mashing, which is basically what I've been doing. Good job. But like, because, like, Swinging a sword consumes a stupid amount of stamina. Let's be completely honest. Bag. Mm. Armory key? Oh, we did it. Oh, the easy left levitation wand. Ooh. Oh, yes. Can I do it with enemies, though? Mm. 
It's just what all games need. A gravity gun. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Ah. Fuck off. Boots. Yeah. Oh, give me the equipment. Ugh. Climbing up a ladder is kind of a pain, though. I should. You should have it so it's like if you climb a ladder, holding W should make you climb up, while holding while looking down makes it so you climb down. Because honestly. Climbing down like this is normal, but climbing up a ladder like this is kind of annoying. Like, I want to climb like this, you know, and look sort of, you know, like look around while climbing up without having to stare at the fucking look up completely. I don't know. The double jump. Jump, jump, double jump. Good condition. Eh, auto equip. Spear, good condition. The one I got is good condition. Yeah. The levitation makes it so I can lift heavier things, I think, much easier. Eh, no. Just distance, I guess. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I just gotta keep exploring. There's so many places to go and loot. This feels endless. And I'm a very thorough person. I don't want this video being too damn long, though. Second floor blatant trap. I'm going to, uh, what if I just whack it? So we'd have to jump or put something down on the... Is this gonna flatten me? Huh. That's... sus. Now we're up here. Just more rooms to loot. <gasps> Chest! Aw, free life potions. Yeah, I should have wasted my gold. Levitation, though. Can I move this bed? I can. Moving it on my own, it's a little heavy, but with the wand. Oh. Oh. No! No! I saw the weird incon- The weird abnormality in the bottom of the chest right when I opened it. I wasn't expecting a chest to fuck me like that. No! My loo! No! My wand! Can I go to like where my body is and re-get it? Oh no. I, I need a torch. My body? Oh, my body. Oh, thank God. Okay, we can reload your... Reload the body! Oh, thank God. Okay. Phew. Alright, this time... Oh, it was an upward angle, too. So, we got our first death. Ugh. Yeah. Wasn't expecting to die like that. Hopefully I don't die again. We gotta be careful of things like that. Everything. Security warning. Following our security audit, we must inform you that the entrance to your dungeon have critical flaws that urgently, urgently require fixing. It is not recommended to hide the front door key in the secret room of the chapel located just next to the entrance. The puzzle requiring you to place an object in the hands of each statue to open the secret door in the chapel is far too easy to solve. Hmm. Place an object in each of the hands. Well, it depends on what the objects are. If they're skulls, then sure. I don't want a book. We'll see if the book is wanted or not. A quill. Skull. Hopefully I don't die by opening these. Tiny pot. Yoink, yoink. But yeah, I'd be more happy if the uh, treasure I was collecting wasn't candy. If it's only candy for- No! I remember that's the hallway with the swords. God damn it, so, so far I'm for my streak of just not dying. 
But thankfully the game is very forgiving. Like, sure, I, I can get my items back, and it looks like every pitfall trap, like, you can get back to your body. Like, when you f when I first went down into the the spike pad, the, like, sort of the, the watery area where the body was on top of the traps, if, you, the, if someone were silly enough to fall down to the spikes, then they could get their body back, as such. The problem is just doing this all over again, then reorganizing the way you had it. Mild pain, but, I mean... There's at least a price to pay, god damn it, for, uh, silliness. Yeah. We don't need to go through that hallway, so I can leave the body there as an obvious reminder. Also, is that my body still over here? I wonder if the server, or not server, I wonder if the game starts to lag the more dead bodies of yours is lying around. Because it's all physics based. Here's another ghost. I'm guessing this is the chapel. I just jumped in through the window. Damn it. But otherwise, um... I'm not gonna be playing probably for that much longer. I do want to continue, but I don't want this video to be as massive as it already is becoming. So I'll look down here and uh, probably end it here. Maybe it'll be a two-part series if people really like it. Who knows? It's just more of a casual thing though. There's like no jump scares. This could be a trap, but hey. Oh. A gravity wand. I mean, that's a gravity wand. What do I already have? What, do, what does it do? Gravity and easy lift. What's the difference? Mm-hmm. Whoa, that's much fiercer. Middle mouse button doesn't fling it, so... This one seems like a very strong version, though. This this thing lifts up things easy. It also brings it towards me. Hmm. This is more safe levitation, but this feels like a... Hmm. It's just stronger, and it tugs it towards you. This one just lifts, levitates, so to speak. Hmm. Candy. Who puts candy down a well? Coins make sense. Candy? Very weird. Candles. That's a lot of candles. Candy, candy. Stone. Uh, well. Well. You know what? We could just make a platform, you know? Make it safe. Mmm. That yeah, works. Hmm. If I take this, I'm gonna die. Or... No? Press tab. Da -da -da -da. Anything, really. Um. Apples, sure, why not? Yeah, that's a little stupidly easy. Ah, ah, you just be good. <laughs> mm -hmm, can do. Yeah. Come on, come on. Okay, we leave that one closed then. Like new. No. I, I would love to know. Lean. Oh, forward leaning. Ah. Oh. Dungeon key. Bad condition. Meh. Hmm. Well, interesting. Leaning function. Cool. Well, we'll see if this will be the end of the demo, then. Uh, it'd be silly to leave it early, just like that one game I had done. Six. Hmm. Ah. 
Ah, it looks like it maybe leads to the end. We just have to get through the buzz saws. I maybe could crouch under that, so... Woo. Ugh. Okay. Like, what killed this guy? What, what killed them all? Meat plus ham. Oh shit! Uh, but there's there's no traps here. What killed these people? Someone like just looted their. Uh, someone killed the body. Uh, killed them and then just threw their bodies here as like a sign. Deaths too. No, I missed thirteen candies. I missed three. I mean. I mean, yeah, technically I did see one really high up. I guess a lot of, like, platforming and weird, crazy shit would need to be found. But I don't know the... The, the point in... Finding all the ghosts. Like, unless... I'm gonna assume it's, like, achievement-related then. Because I was thinking maybe, like, all the ghosts would be planted somewhere... At the end of the level. Like, say, it, you reach the end of the level and there's, like, a little sort of coffers area and you have to place the ghosts or place whatever the ghosts turn into when the spooky edition ends and it's like if you collect all the trinkets well i don't know then it's like at the end of a level you get bonus treasure if you find all the ghosts i don't know i'm trying to think of like how i would put it like what i was thinking is like let's say if the ghosts are Let's say the ghosts are like golden keys to a treasure, and the treasure chest has six key slots, and you need to find the six gold keys to open the treasure, optionally to get more treasure at the end of the level, and if you don't find all the gold keys, then you don't open the extra treasure and you just move on sort of thing. Is what I was sort of thinking they were going for, but apparently not. And creating the game would not have been possible without the following free and open source programs of Blender, Free Mind, and Git. But yeah, and it's an interesting game for those that like thief, like spelunking, like looting, like searching. But preferably for shiny gold, because shiny gold is more... Mm, more... Intriguing? More appealing than mere candy. But it is spooky month, so I mean, they can get away with it for now. <laughs> but otherwise... I've been playing overall for an hour because I've been constantly distracted and also searching thoroughly. Not obsolete, not clearly so thoroughly because I missed a bunch of ghosts, but... I don't know, got an Amazon delivery, Let's see if anything happens. Getting tired of all the distractions I'm getting, I just want to drink more coffee. And I'm gonna assume... Oh, that's good coffee. I'm gonna assume the game breaks because it's on the loading screen and it hasn't changed for like 30 seconds. So that is it. If you want to play the demo, you'd be able to maybe find more treasure of all the candies that I didn't find. It's on Steam and itch.io, link in the description below if you want to try it yourself. Of course the demo's free, I shouldn't have to mention that. But interesting game, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a buff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Oh. <sighs>